I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music ah! and in Kalani's music ah! and in whatever the other and in Santa like I'm angry. Bruce Lawn. Jackie Hill Perry in a recent Instagram post and in sermon she was preaching made some really interesting statements about Beyonce and some other entertainers. I wanted to jump into this. I'm a big fan of Jack Jackie Hill Perry and she seems to be coming into a different framework on some of these things that perhaps people in the past have had a view of liberty on. Specifically with her view of Beyonce, she said that, you know, she used to think it was just art and God kind of showed her some different things. So let's jump into this clip. This is from her Instagram page. So uh, let's jump into this. You got to be a witch to be black. You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. Now, oh, she coming in strong. hot. She coming in really strong. She coming in hot. So she's saying that people who have this view that black people and witchcraft are synonymous is propagating the same hateful white supremacy because it's undergirding the notion that Christianity ain't been in Africa for thousands of years. Who's who's saying that it's synonymous with with? A lot of folks move away from being Christian. Yeah, I know that because they don't see it as a part of their ethnic identity because gotcha. it's the white man's religion, and so they'll get into new age spirituality, new age witchcraft, that sort of stuff. Gotcha. Okay, and so the ironic part about this is that Christianity has extremely deep roots in parts of Africa, oh, specifically yeah. Ethiopia. When I was in Israel, uh, my buddy Emmanuel came to hang out, and sh uh, he is an Ethiopian Jew. His family was all Jewish who immigrated to Israel and then became Messianic because someone came and preached the gospel. And so there's a huge, not just a huge Jewish movement in mm. Ethiopia, but also uh, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is one of the oldest Christian churches in the world. Wow. And so that's just there. I mean, you can go to Nigeria, you can go to Ghana. A lot of these are very Christian parts of the world. I think, I think Nigeria is 50-50 Christian and Muslim. Egypt, the Coptic Church of Egypt is a lot of our modern textual criticism came out of the school of Alexandria, which is where Mark, who wrote the Gospel of Mark, who was close to Peter, went to Alexandria in Egypt. So Africa has extremely deep uh, Christian roots. So she's pointing out this this notion that you know you 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 trying to be more witchy and you know the stuff yeah. that is Azalea Banks and all these folks are are into is is actually not aligned with the world religion known as Christianity. Hmm. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music ah! and in Kalani's music ah! and in whatever the other, and in Santa, like I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same. Oh. That all spiritualism is the same. That is a massive lie from the enemy. Oof. That it's not about what God you worship. It's not about Jesus or not Jesus. That it's, you know, I'm spiritual but not religious. That even the idea of Christianity, it just kind of seems old. It sounds like a dead, old religion. Yeah. And that as long as you're just spiritual, you know. And, and here, she, I mean, she name checks Beyonce, which... I've only heard Jackie do once or twice. That's crazy. You know, uh, I think I saw her do it on a, on a story. So the fact that she's name checking Beyonce in a sermon, I, I think means that she didn't come to play, you know? And, and of course, she's talking about the, the content we see coming out of Beyonce, you know? Which, which ironically enough, the sad part is like, Beyonce grew up Christian. Mm. You know, Michelle left Destiny's Child to pursue being a gospel artist. You know, and now she's doing cool stuff like now she has like a uh, course, course with, with, Tim, with Ross Tim Ross and been on his podcast, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, so it's so interesting that, and it almost seems like people get to a certain level of status or whatever, and it's like they like graduate their Christian faith onto something else, and it's like no, 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 you mm. you're going to, onto witchcraft, like you're going on yeah. to, like satanic stuff, you know. And we have digested this impurity and this, we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane. <laughs> we want. By the way, by the way, listen, this is the side note, the controversial take here. Jackie Hill could preach. 
<laughs> How's that? I knew you were going to say that. Women ja- preachers. Bro, Jackie Hill could preach. I was sitting with Ray Rock the other day, and I said, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in women elders, and I don't believe in women church planters or senior pastors. I don't have a problem with women teaching. And I said, but the issue is that sometimes watching women teach is like watching the WNBA. It's just not as good. <laughs> but when you hear Jackie Hill Perry preach... It is not like watching women's basketball. She can dunk. No, sir. No, sir. Jackie Hill can preach. She could dunk. She could windmill. <laughs> she could do it all. Okay? She, so she I, don't have, backboard. I don't got a problem. Tim Ross is in the chat. <laughs> I ain't got a problem with women preaching. I got a problem with bad women preaching. <laughs> I, I, but, I, but, or but, women preaching bad. Or women preaching bad. Not bad women preaching yeah, bad. Yeah. Now I got a problem with bad women in the pulpit too. You know, women that are dressed bad. You know, you know what I'm talking about. So she is knocking it out of the park with this, with this entire, you know, the, the cadence, the, the speech, the, the scriptural reference, the history. Like this, she can preach, man. Yeah. You know, like she could preach. And so if a woman could preach, I'm not mad. Let her, let her, listen. Let her rock. Let her rock. Hey, you want to see something crazy? 67% of the people who watch this channel are not subscribed. Do me a quick favor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all the videos here on the Bless God Studios channel. So bad to have all these freedoms that we are entertaining demons and you wonder why you are depressed. (laughs) You're entertaining demons and you wonder why you're depressed. Everyone's depressed. All the young youngins are depressed. Mental health issues are at an all-time high. And I bet you, if we examine what their music is and what their consumption is, I bet you they're all consuming very similar music. All of them. That's crazy. Right? Yeah. And millennials and Gen Z are the most depressed than they've ever been and all this sort of stuff. And it's like, well, what are you, what are you putting in your spirit? What are you putting in your mind? What are you putting in your soul? Like, what are you meditating on? Yeah. Nonsense. You're meditating on nonsense that's literally rooted in witchcraft. And false gods, and which are demons. Saint Arbucks. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And you wonder why you are anxious. And you wonder why you have nightmares. And you wonder why you can't sleep. And you wonder why you see things in Come your on. room Come at on. night. It's Come because on. you're opening up doors Come on. to all kinds of demons. Close them. Close Whatever them. you got in your home that's witchcraft, throw it away. Mm. Some of y'all got to throw away that Holy Spirit board. <sighs> Yeah, throw away that Holy Spirit. Some, board. some of y'all got confused. Throw away them <laughs> Christian tarot cards. <laughs> throw all that nonsense out, man. Physics of heaven. Physics of heaven. Throw that out. Throw it away. Burn everything you got. Because we are women who are going to love God with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our soul. We are not going to imitate the detestable practices of the nations. Let's go. Wow. Man, that's amazing. Shout out to Jackie Hill Perry. Uh, I think she knocks it out of the park. I think she's an amazing communicator, orator. And I think it's interesting that, listen, the thing about Jackie Hill Perry that people don't understand is she is, how do I say this? There's a Christian in crowd Mm -hmm. and she's a part of it. (laughs) Listen to me. And, And when you're in the Christian in crowd, it doesn't benefit you to name check people like Beyonce. Ah. So the fact that she's in the Christian, and she's on all the media, Christian legacy media, she's in all those circles, she's she's friendly with everybody, and the fact that she's in the Christian in crowd and still name checking people, that's something that's viewed like like viewed 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 down upon. Oh, I mind my business, I don't speak on anybody else. And the fact that she's name checking people like Beyonce and, and I don't know who the other artist she mentioned. I think Kalani. is a Kalani, is that who? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Kalani's been on. She's she's been a mess. I feel I genuinely feel bad for that girl. Like I think Sheesh. like Beyonce is has a Christian framework and comes from the church. Kalani just seems like she just had it rough. Dex. She just seems like she's just had it consistently rough. And 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 I I I genuinely feel bad for 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 some of these folks in that they you know they're they're just they're they're missing it. Like they're it's like. Yeah, I don't even have a metaphor for it, you know? Hey, this clip is from our daily after-party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after-party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store, only 
$5 a month. And ultimately, it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of Jesus using media, podcasting, and of course, YouTube. The link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment. The perks are amazing. You should get on there. It's only $5 a month. I'll see you over there, all right? Peace.